get into the result that I received. It's so cold here in Northern Michigan. Okay, so the results. I finally got all of the x-ray and blood work results back from the specialist down at U of M. And I definitely have fibromyalgia that was made evident at the physical exam. The blood work showed that I'm extremely deficient in vitamin D, which most Michiganders are. So I'm on a vitamin D pill for the next nine months and then I have to have it rechecked. Also, because I am on a blood thinner, it's hard for them to test for, you know, inflammatory disorders or um, lupus type things. So she believes that I do not have lupus, which is good because that's a death sentence. Um, but the x-rays show a lot of arthritis. Um, I have arthritis in my hands, in my knees, and in my spine. Um, so, you, which, you know, is good. It explains the pain that I've been having. And hopefully, I've got to pick up a, it's called a prednisone burst got to pick that up, um, but I have to wait to take it until after I speak to my cardiac nurse this afternoon um, to find out the blood work. Because the prednisone is a type of steroid and that will make my blood thinner. So my number will be higher. The higher the number, the thinner the blood, the lower the number, the thicker the blood. So I... I know that the last time that I was on the prednisone, my levels, you know, went cattywampus, but it helped with my pain. So I'm hoping that she says it's okay to go ahead and start it because, you know, I'm getting my levels checked twice a week anyway. I also, um, my cousin told me that there are multiple places that make the machine to check your um, INR is what it's called uh, at home or multiple companies. So the one company that they submitted it to wouldn't work with my insurance. So hopefully they can submit it to, you know, one of these other multiple companies and they can, they will work with my insurance. Because if I have the machine to do at home, it's going to be first less harm to my body because my one arm, my left arm, uh, where they would normally get the blood, no problem, has too much scar tissue. Uh, and so they can't get it there anymore. And my right arm has been hit or miss. So at this point, you know, they're left with my hands. And there's only two people there that I trust to even consider doing my hand because the other ones don't, for one, don't listen to me when I tell them about my veins. You know, I'm 45 years old. I know my body and I know that my veins are deep very, very thin, and they move. So you would think the fact that, I mean, they've got to see that I come twice a week. So you would think I would know, you know, I come twice a week. I'm a hard stick. So listen to what I'm telling you. Instead of just saying, oh, you must be extra sensitive. What the fuck? Are you serious? Extra sensitive? You just attempted to draw blood out of a bruise. Hello? Hello? Anyway. I am... I think I'm going to take, uh, take you guys through town. Town. <laughs> because I know that you guys see the greenery when I take the back way. Um, oh, I just did something to my knee. But I think I'm going to take the front part that takes us through town and goes up by Meyer. I'm going to take that way so you guys can see a little more of what town looks like. And then I will let you guys know what I find out from 
the cardiologist or the cardiac nurse as far as um, blood work and the prednisone, which I think I'm going to pick up because I have time. I think I'm going to pick up before I go to get my blood drawn. The hell? Never had to wait this long to turn. Jeez. So you guys will start seeing town um, after I get my prescription filled. So I will talk to y'all a little later. Hey guys, it's Michelle. And just to let you know, my blood work came back and I'm good. I'm 2.17, which is what I need to be. And with the prednisone burst, I will have to still check twice a week, no matter what.